Hi there, and welcome to today's class. For today's class, we'll be looking at the concept of area expansivity. So this is a continuation of our last class on linear expansivity. So we looked at linear expansivity in the last class, but today we're looking at area expansivity. Now, here's what to note. Area expansivity is also called superficial expansivity, right? And the, the concept here, the concept here is that the concept here is that when we said when the concept of expansivity is that when metals are heated, they tend to expand. All right. They expand not just in length as we treated in linear expansivity. They also expand or increase in terms of their area. So the area of the metal object, of course, increases. All right. So this increase in area due to the addition of heat is called area expansivity so area expansivity by definition is simply the increase in the area of solids when heated that's it all right so under area expansivity note that area expansivity is abbreviated by the symbol beta right so beta is the symbol we use to abbreviate area expansivity and mathematically area expansivity is equal to um, change in area, change in area all over original area times change in temperature. So change in temperature. All right, so this is my formula for area expansivity. So we're saying that beta is equal to change in A all over original area is A1 times change in temperature. If I expand further, change in area is simply the difference between the final area minus the initial area all over the initial area into uh, change in temperature becomes the final temperature minus the initial temperature. So simply the difference in area, which is final area, this is final area minus initial area all over initial area multiplied by change in temperature. So I have this. All right, so this is um, the mathematical representation of area expansivity so i have this right so for these two your si units the si unit is per degree kelvin right so per kelvin you see right that's k to power minus one per kelvin that's for temperature or if you're using degree celsius per degree celsius but usually per kelvin is your SI unit. All right, that's about this. Another thing to note here is that there's a relationship between um, area expansivity and linear expansivity. Please note that, note that the relationship between linear expansivity and area expansivity is that area expansivity or superficial expansivity is twice the value of linear expansivity. So if I'm given the value of linear expansivity, I can simply get the area expansivity by multiplying that value by two. So I have this one here. All right, let's take some sample problem to illustrate this. The first question here says, given that, given that the linear expansivity of a metal is 0 0.000263 per Kelvin, what is the area expansivity? All right, so solution to that question there, solution, I was given given linear expansivity. We said linear expansivity is alpha is equal to the given value here is 0 0.000263 per Kelvin. I'm asked to evaluate the area expansivity. All right, this should be easy to do. So let's recall formula. So recall. Recall that we said
Record outside, area expansivity is twice linear expansivity. That's equal to two times the linear expansivity is 0 0.000263. If I multiply this, this gives me 0 0.00054. Three six Kelvin. You should have this five two six means so if I multiply this, this should be equal to zero point zero 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 five two six per Kelvin. All right, so this would be the value of the area expansivity. Or the superficial expansivity 0 0.000526 per Kelvin. So, this is how we solve this. Let's take one more example on area expansivity. All right, so let's try out this example here. This one says, What is the initial area of a lead box if the area increased to 27.3 meters squared after it was heated from 20 Kelvin to 52 Kelvin. Take the beta expansivity of, take the area expansivity of lead as 0 0.000029 per Kelvin. All right, let's get this solved. So, solution here. Solution there. Um, first things first, as usual, list out given parameters. Now, this question says, what is the initial area? So, in this case here, I'm to look for the initial area. That's A1 is unknown. So, we can say um, A1 unknown, but let me list out parameters first. The ones we are given. We said, if the area increased to... So, I had an initial area that... In, so, I had an initial area that increased to 27.3 meters square. That's the second area or the final area is equal to 27.3 meter squared number two they said if it was heated from 20 kelvin to 52 kelvin so the good thing here is that the temperature has already been converted to kelvin so i don't have to bother about converting temperature so it was heated from 20 to 52 so my initial temperature was 20 kelvin and then t2 it was heated to 52 Kelvin. All right, so it's in Kelvin, no longer converting. Instead, we should take beta expansivity of lead, number four, beta expansivity of lead um, as equal to 0 0.000029 per Kelvin. So I have this. All right, we have to find the initial area. That's A1. All right, so how do we solve this? All right, in solving this, um, our first task would be list out your, okay, we've listed the parameters. Let's recall value, right? Let's recall formula. So recall that we said beta, which is area expansivity, is equal to A2 minus A1 all over A1 into T2 minus T1. So I have this. Um, if you want to, you could start by making A1 the subject of the formula, or you could just impute values and see how you could solve this. Um, so it depends on the approach. Uh, should you make A1 to be um, subject of the formula first? All right, let's just go to the imputing values. All right, this value here is 0. Point, this one here, 0.00029 is equal to A2. Is given as 27.3 okay minus a1 all over a1 into t2 t2 is 52 minus t1 t1 is 20 so i have this all right impute values this is equal to 0 0.000029 is equal to 27.3 minus a1 all over this is a1 times 52 minus 20 that gives you 32 so i have 
32 as my answer. Okay, so from here, my next task would be, this is the same as all over 1. So I'd have to cross multiply this and this. So I have 0 0.1234 to 9 times A1 times 32 gives you 32A1. It's equal to this times this. So 1 times in bracket this one here. 27.3 minus A1. So I have this. All right, so multiplying two, let's, let's multiply this. Um, get my calculator. So I have 0 0.123429 times 32. So I have this one as 0 0.30123. 928 into A1 is equal to 1 times this is itself, that's 27.3 minus A1. My next step would be bring A1 from here to this point. That becomes 0 0.000928 A1 minus A1 comes and becomes plus a1 is equal to 27.3. So I have this. If I sum this, I'm having 0 0.000928 plus 1. That gives you 1.000928. So the, the, the number here is 1. Right? So this plus 1 gives you this into A1 is equal to 27.3. To get A1, I will divide this by 1.000928 divided here by 0 point or 1 point 000928. Okay, 928. So I have this. So from here, this will now cancel this. So I'll have that A1. So A1 is equal to, okay, so I have um, 27.3 27 divided by 0 0.000, okay, 1.000. So my answer here in two decimal places is 27.27. Now area is in meter squared. So that's my SI unit. So my area is 27.27 meters squared. So this is how I solve this question. Now again, of course, we expect that the value of A1 should be lesser than A2. So A2 is 27.3. Remember that when the, the lead is being heated, the area expanded. So I expected that A1 should be lesser, all right? And you can see A1 is lesser. So it expanded or it increased from 27.27 to 27.30. Although the expansion is small, but then there's still an expansion. So this is how we solve this question. If you enjoyed this video, simply like the video. And of course, leave a comment in the comment section. Tell us other topics you'd always, you would also want us to treat. Also, to get my complete playlist on physics, mathematics, and chemistry, I have over 100 videos on um, physics, mathematics, and chemistry. To get the video, simply visit my website, www.junaimano.com forward slash courses, and you see the jam slash wire classes, all right? So register, register an account to the website, and then you can order for the courses there, all right? It gives you a lifetime access to all the courses. Thank you very much and see you in our next class.